Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Lives. How is everybody doing out there? I hope that everybody's doing okay. Um, you guys, this video today is of very serious nature. I was going to try and do this live, but as you can probably tell, I'm not breathing very well. Um, <clears throat> so you guys, I'm just going to get into it. For about the past month, I have been having really bad pain in my joints. Like the pain and stiffness was crazy. And even though I have, you know, been working out and I was feeling better, but the pain in my joints was just, uh, it was different. I had never had joint pain like that. Um, so I was, you know, you know how you read online about all the symptoms of COVID and you know, or coronavirus or the Rona, whatever you want to call it, you, you just think, okay, well, I don't have all of them. I just have this one and I don't think that's it. I think it's just because I'm not moving around enough. Um, but I was waking up every day with like horrible pain in my shoulders <laughs> and I'm, I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it's crazy, <clears throat> but I was waking up with a lot of pain and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, mm. I'm fine. Well, last Monday when I woke up, I started to feel, I wasn't feeling good. I felt super, super tired. Like I just felt like, oh man, I'm tired. I felt really weak and really tired, but I kept trying, kept going, kept trying to push myself. And I was like, hey, I don't feel good. So I, I logged into work like I always do logged into work, but I was so tired that I had to log off. You know, I, I let my boss know I'm not feeling good. I, I need to log off. Um, you know, and she said, okay. And, um, I just wasn't feeling well. I mean, I've been working from home since March. And so for me, the only place I had been was the grocery store. And, you know, of course I take a lift because I don't have a car. Um, so I, you know, I was fine. I felt, you know, I just, I was, I wasn't feeling good. I said, uh, I'm just really tired. I'm really fatigued. I need to just rest. And I was having a headache. I was having this weird, weird headache. And the crazy thing is, is the headache started on Saturday. The headache started last Saturday. And I was like, man, why is my head hurting like this? Like, this is, this is insane. This is really insane. So again, Monday rolls around. I'm tired. Sunday, I was exhausted. I didn't go live because I was so I was exhausted. I didn't even have <clears throat> the energy. So I said, well, all right, I'm just going to, you know, try to take it easy. So as the week went on last week, I just started to feel absolutely horrible. Like my body just felt so my body just felt horrible. Like I started to have more severe pain, the headache intensified, and then I started to run a fever. And I said, okay, <laughs> something is wrong. This doesn't feel like a flu. And I wasn't having shortness of breath though. I wasn't having shortness of breath yet. My throat was getting sore off and on, but my nose did start to run a little bit. And I'm like, maybe it's just allergies and it's messing with my asthma. It could be bronchitis, whatever coming. But I was, I was, I had a cough, but I wasn't feeling short of breath. <clears throat> Fast forward to was today is Tuesday. So fast forward to Saturday by this past Saturday, I was down. I couldn't, I could barely do much. I was like in bed, just laying down, just kind of laying around all day because the stairs were taking me out like the stairs because I live in a two story and the stairs is taking me out. So I said, I, I'm going to have to pick where I want to stay because I don't feel good. <clears throat> well, I did a telehealth visit on Saturday and the doctor said, I hate to say this to you, Miss Harper, but I feel like you have COVID. And he said, your symptoms are pointing directly to that. And he said, but I can't diagnose you without you getting tested. And he said, and your lips are very blue. They were blue. They weren't gray. They were blue. They still had a little color. <laughs> um, 
But by Sunday, my lips had turned gray. They're starting to, the color's coming back now, but they started to turn gray. And I couldn't breathe. My breathing was very labored. Starting at about, well, actually, I'll say Monday morning at about 1 a.m., I woke up and I could not catch my breath, y'all. It scared me. I used my inhaler, my rescue inhaler, because I do have asthma. So I used my rescue inhaler, and it helped me catch my breath a little. But by Monday morning, I woke up, and I just I couldn't take it anymore. And my lips had turned even more gray, and I said, I'm not getting enough air. I'm not getting enough air at all. So I called the nurse line for my insurance because I had kept trying to call my doctor's office and they won't answer and all kinds of stuff. So I don't know what that's about. But anyways, um, I went to the ER, the paramedics came and they took me right away. Like no questions asked. They didn't say, do you want to go to the hospital? They took me because I wasn't saturating. <laughs> well, and um, y'all, I'm making this video just to say that this is serious. If you are doubting that this is real or you're listening to somebody's conspiracy theories about something, please don't please don't take this lightly. And if you are a person who has family members who are elderly and have compromised immune systems, don't don't go around them. If you've been out and about in crowded places, don't go around them because you will give them this virus because this virus can live on your clothing. And you don't want to be the reason that somebody catches this, okay? So please take it serious. I am feeling not good. I have a lot of pain in my chest. My joints are feeling not, they're feeling better. They're not as bad. Um, I'm pretty sure that's from the two antibiotics that they gave me in my IV. I was in the ER for nine hours yesterday. Um, I didn't want to stay in the hospital because that hospital was at capacity and they were saying it could be a day or two before they even put you in a bed. So what's the point? So I'm just sitting here being, you know, exposed to all kinds of germs. There's people there that the guy came in, they, they told him in front of everybody that he has sepsis and MRSA. I don't want any of that. Um, I did get tested for COVID on Sunday. I did do that. I meant to mention that I went to an urgent care and they tested me for it. They did the saliva test. The doctor in the ER yesterday said that the saliva tests are not as sensitive as the nasal swab. However, he said, if people have had symptoms for more than a week, then it, it should show up. But he did the chest x-ray and, and the lab cultures, the, the blood cultures show COVID. The chest x-ray shows pneumonia, which is, a, which is related to coronavirus. So I just want you guys to take this seriously. I'm not going to keep talking because I'm running out of air. And I didn't want this video to be really long. But you guys... To all of you who have reached out to me or that saw my Instagram post, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm okay. I'm going to fight because I'm a fighter and God made me strong. So I'm going to use my strength. I'm going to rest. I am going to rest. Um, so you might not see me around as much, but I'm here. I just need to rest and I just need to take care of myself. And I just want y'all to do the same. I'm really emotional about this because I did everything that I thought I was supposed to do to keep myself safe. So I'm just frustrated, y'all. I'm just frustrated. These are just tears of frustration. But just know that I'm okay. And if you want to reach out to me, feel free. I'm here. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I'll talk to y'all later.